What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the Dundee FC Crew Mode here on EFC 24. And we're going to start our new season here today against Rangers' new squad players. And then we're going to end our um, the summer transfer window as well. Maybe make some new additions as well in the transfer window. But the first thing we will tackle here is um, our game against Rangers. Um, away from home, big game. Before I do that, I actually forgot to sign a backup goalkeeper. So, going to have to go do that. Probably won't get one before the Rangers game, so hopefully Alavson doesn't go down hurt. Um, but it should be okay. We should be fine, and um, hopefully we can get just someone to bring in some free agent that we can bring in as a backup. Um, so we we will find someone. Oh, what a great chance. Lovely ball into the box. I think that was Chang who got up. They challenged by a Rangers player there. and It's a great header just off target. We've actually got off to a really good start here against Rangers. If we could get a scalp here early on in the season, it would be a great start for us. forward here first chance of the game they've actually had the opportunity to even get their foot on the ball kind of sort of crowded them out there but it's a good save by Alavson eventually they do get a shot away and Alavson has saved it another good save Rangers coming into the game now half an hour Took them a while, but they're in the game now. Ah! Wonderful goal! Who is that? Katrumbis! The captain for today with Cameron on the bench. The center half has just scored an absolute wonder goal against Rangers. You know what? I'm not going to say much other than this is a complete another pot shot. Just take a go there, Captain. He does, and it's an absolutely wonderful strike. You know what? I think we deserve the lead. Rangers have had chances, but we've been very active going forward. And this 4-5-1, you know, pack the midfield has worked for us today. Let's see what we can do and get more goals. Trying to put this game to bed and not give Rangers a chance to get back into it. Off the post, and Mengi gets it clear. Rangers almost got us, but we kept them out. Luckily for us, we did. Still got that one goal cushion. Three minutes left to go now, and we just need to keep possession, really. That's all we need to do. That is what we are going to do. Just keep possession, just keep possession. And that's an offside position? Seems so. So they will get the ball back. They're going to lump it long. They win it back, but it comes right back to us. And we're actually going to win this game 1-0. Honestly, a game that... We could have won by a bit more, but once we scored, it kind of went to more ranger side with us trying to counter-attack them. Um, and really, nothing more happened. It was a it was a, a pretty decent game for us. It's the best we've ever played against Rangers. Our first ever win against Rangers. And our first scalp of the season. A excellent start. Didn't think we were going to start with the three points. We have done here. And of all people, it was our... our Katrumbis, our centre half, who was captain for the day, who came up with something special. Match day two, Kilmarnock. They also won their first game of the season. And they're just ahead of us in the table. They're fourth. Nice to see Rangers down here in 10th after one game. That's funny. 
But uh, yeah, we'll fa be facing Kilmarnock. It's an away day again. This time we're probably going to be a little bit more uh, attacking this time. Um, a little bit more 4-3-3. Maybe try uh, the, the, the new formation I've been talking about in maybe a cup game or something. See how it works out. But Kilmarnock here, probably going to go for the 4-3-3. See how we get on in the new season. Kilmarnock get through. 15 minutes into the game, they've broken us. They broke us down. And after doing really well against Rangers, we've actually started off pretty poorly against Kilmarnock. We're one 0 down here within 15 minutes. Oh my word. They've given a penalty for that. Just Mendy, Mengi just shielding the body there. He just runs into him. And apparently that's a penalty. I don't... That's a horrible decision. And unfortunately it'll get them their second goal. Their first goal perfect. Their second goal complete. Not her luck. As we've got our first bit of bad luck this year. Cameron from range, and it's an easy save. That's the first chance we've had today. We've not been great. Cameron, got to the byline. Strike, blocked. Got strike off the post. Almost back in, and not quite sure who that was. I think it was Urain. Wouldn't surprise me, given his struggles against goal for goals over the last while. And it's three. Not deservingly, really. 2 0 would have been a pretty fair result given how the game has gone, but three, that's a little bit overkill. It's getting late. We need to score now if we want to try and get something out of this. Stokes is going to take it to the front post. Cameron gets there. Keeper saves it and dives on top of it. Not the most convincing of saves by the goalkeeper, but nonetheless, he saved it. Cameron is gone again, and this time it's off target. We've had chances today, we just couldn't put the ball in the net. Uran had a chance, Cameron also, this one. And again, it's the... It's, it's the the other side of the pitch where we've had problems. Oh, Chang had a go there. But again, too little, too late. Referee will blow the whistle and that indeed will end the game. 3-0, probably not a fair result given how we really played today. But when you play the way that we played and you don't put the ball on the net, this is the type of result that we can... That we can you know that's gonna happen to us i think it's fair to say that 4-3-3 is not the position the 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 the, the, the formation we need to play 4-5-1 is probably the best position that we can play i think that's probably what we're going to play from now on but i would like to see the 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 new formation in 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 uh in action probably we'll use that in the next game just to see how we get on West Brom have met Jack McKenzie's release clause, which is not good. Um, I don't. I think Jack McKenzie is worth more than 1.75 million now, so we're gonna have to go look for a left back because uh, as good as Jack McKenzie has been, Noah Palace isn't exactly the defensive player that I want. I could still play him there. I could also play French there, who's been very good. So maybe we do just keep it. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. But, you know, if there is going to be a time that we need to actually make a move here, this is the time. But Jack McKenzie is going to leave for West Brom for 1.75 million. 
Found the goalkeeper I want, Jack Allenwick. 32 years of age, 66 overall. Won't play much, doesn't really matter. Just want him for the year. And uh, that'll pretty much do. And indeed he will sign. Two and a half grand a week for the year. Probably overpaid for, you know, two and a half grand. But he didn't have to pay a transfer fee, so that's fine. Jack Allenwick will join as the backup goalkeeper. One player I do have in mind here, Matthew Sorinola. So if Jack McKenzie does leave, and I can imagine that, I will imagine that he will, Matthew Sorinola will probably be the guy that I'll immediately go for to bring in as uh, the new uh, left back. So he probably won't start every game, Sorinola. He'll probably share time with French, Palace, uh, maybe he have to do some switch around, just maybe Cortales goes out there. But uh, yeah, do needs another left back. Sarnola would be the guy to bring in if Jack McKenzie leaves. But then enough of that. Next up, we face Motherwell. They have also won one of their two games. Um, however, they have scored the way more goals than us. They've also conceded more goals than us. So the good and the bad. We will have to face them. This is going to be our new formation. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, first game here against Motherwell with our new formation. Let's see how we get on. High strike, good save. Good start to the game here. There's the new signing, Scott High. He gets a opportunity. Now McGrath will take the corner. Aiming for Mengi in there, but they won't get it to him. And Sky, and that one seemed to be blocked, maybe. No, they're saying it's a goal kick. So that was just a poor strike from from High. What a save from Olavson. Motherwell really did a great job there. Getting through our back line, but Olavson to the rescue. They just let Dennis go there and Stokes had a shot there. Keeper went down and he punched it away. Keeper... Did not know what to do there. Got a little bit caught, I think, there for momentarily. Ball goes in. Katrumbus is up. It's cleared, maybe. Diving header gets it away. Palace comes up, heads it towards. We keep it. Stokes. Anderson. Terrible ball. No one's out there. Mulligan's actually going to get the ball in. Lovely ball. Lovely save. Mulligan did excellently down that right hand side and I will say one thing Matthew Dennis new signing been really 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 active very threatening up forward I've liked how he's played Stokes strike excellent strike he's been really good today Stanley Stokes he's been a threat He's got a bow. He's been great in the tackle. We've been really good. We just need the goal. And that one's over the crossbar. We've been really, really positive. Just the goal has to come. And we said this is our biggest weakness. We've crowded him out here. The challenge came in there a little bit. Scary, but Motherwell still have the opportunity. They seem to be waiting for the right one to come. Comes across the field. Keeper comes out. And it's just off target. That's their first real chance today. And it hasn't gone in. But we've we've kept them out there. Anderson. Oh, great save again. Conley has kept Motherwell in this game. And again, we have another corner. It's Stokes is going to deliver this time. You and your rain is up, and you and your rain will score first of the season. And finally, we get on the score sheet. We've been probing and probing, creating chance after chance, and you and your rain will be the man to break the deadlock. Stanley Stokes gets a, an assist, and after an absolutely wonderful game today, he deserves that.
Grain comes on off the bench and gets the goal. And finally, we get on the score sheet and go 1-0 up. Don't give it away now. Well done by Teed and Mengi, but we're not. We haven't got it away yet. Oh, and then comes Catrumbus. So we've got that away. McKenzie pulls that back, loses possession. Now McKenzie is out of position. Tegan Menzi does excellent to cover. And now that should end the game. You would like to score a little bit more, but we haven't. And 1 0 wins will still give you three points, but we need to score more goals if we want to be one of the better teams in this division. But I thought that the four, that the new formation of the four-one-two-one-two, worked superbly. I thought it, they did really well. Stanley Stokes got about. Matthew Dennis looked like a threat. The one big issue I did have is that it took Jamie McGrath a little bit out of the game. I didn't really like that. We're gonna have to find a place for Jamie. But we get the win today. Um, just as much questions as answers, but three points nonetheless. And there it is. McKenzie's gone. So we're going to have to go sign Soren Nola. Might also look at possibly getting a new striker um, with that 1.1 million. Seems that it's there. Might as well look for someone new. We'll see what we can find. Matthew Dennis was a guy I brought in. Still think he's more of a winger, but he did really well in our last game. But we'll see what we can do. Um, might have uh, some deadline uh, day uh, moves to make. We'll see how we get on. But uh, McKenzie is gone. Saranola is going to join with us very soon. And as I said, we will bring in Saranola. Won't be our starting left back, I think, to begin with. Palace had a really good game in our last game. So Saranola will be on the bench. But de definitely needed another uh, full back. Saranola can do that. And uh, very good going forward. Can defend a little bit. Have experience with him before. Um, so looking forward to using Saranola again. And he's still young, 24 years old. So uh, looking forward to bringing him back to Dundee FC. Next up, Hearts away. Level with us on points, but better on goal difference. Gotta be a tough game. We're gonna keep with the formation we had in the last game. Maybe he can bring us more goals. But another game this time away from home. Tough game against Hearts. Always a tough game against Hearts. Let's see how we get on. Plenty of room for it out there. Shankland shanked that one. No, pun very much intended on that one. Oh, what play. Wonderful. But the ball wasn't exactly what we needed. Going to get another opportunity, though. Dennis. Strike! Oof! There was a vicious one, too, and the keeper, I think he saw it late. He got it away, though. Was able to score from the corner last time, and again, we're going to try it again. Urine gets up, but it's over crossbar. That's the man who we're going to aim for every single time from corners, and McGrath can put in those type of really good deliveries. Strike wide. Good play from Hearts there on the counter attack, but we were able to keep him out. Been a good half this between two teams, just no goals so far. Mulligan gives us a corner there. He's been active down the right hand side. I think done a really good job. McGrath ball goes in. Catrumbus is up, and Catrumbus will score. Captain again today without Lyle Cameron. And Catrumbus has come up trumps once again. Captain puts us ahead against Hearts. Shows that we might be really good from corners and in the air. Catrumbus gets up and gets a really good header into the far corner. 
we can aim for Catrumbus, Uran, all these players who are really good in the air every single time. We're going to score a lot of goals from corners. And uh, Catrumbus starting off in a little bit of a goal, a goal run here to start the season with two in the first three, uh, four games. Oh, that's a penalty. He dived in, and it's a definite penalty. That was Mulligan, I think. And that's the second penalty we've given away in the first five games. First one, I, I would question, but that one, there's no doubt about it. Did make a little bit of a meal out of it, though. Did react a little bit late. But nonetheless, it is a penalty, and Hearts are going to get a chance to go back on level terms. But Alavsin says no. And he keeps it out. Clean sheet still intact, and we keep the lead. Mulligan. DeGrasse. Stokes. High! First goal for the new boy, and it's two for Dundee. And what we're seeing, this new formation is going to work for us. The counter attack is just excellent. Stokes decides to make that extra pass. That's another assist for him. For him. And high finishes. The new boy gets his first, and it's the the high of Scott High. It's going to be the one of the, the first new boy to get the first goal. And we will get it away. They had some opportunities, but we will get that away. But it's not gone yet. Might get the last lovely little back heel, and we will lose the clean sheet. In the 92nd minute. But I think it'll be too little too late for Hearts. As we do give up the clean sheet. Which is disappointing. But nonetheless, it's a, another win. And this time with two, with two goals. So the first game of the season that we've scored two goals in. We've looked really good throughout the first five games. Or first four so far. French has looked great. Stokes has looked really threatening. Dennis has, has made some great plays. Catrumbus has got off to an excellent start to the season. He could be our new captain for going forward. He, so, he showed what he could do last year, and I think he's been absolutely excellent for us. This time he's shown up, popping up with a few very important goals for us. And that's a 2-1 win now in our penultimate game. Stanley Stokes gets an offer from FC Vizela. That's not happening. He's been absolutely, absolutely... Uh, he's, as, he's been absolutely, absolutely... No, he's been absolutely superb in the first few games. And Vizela is not a big enough club for me to actually consider it. But um, if, if a big club did come in and offer money for him, I would negotiate. But they'd have to give me some silly money. Um, but, you know, I don't want it, another Urain to happen. So we'll see how we get on if something does come in. So it is the last day of the transfer window. Well, we are going to play the, the game first, which is Ross County. Um, at home now as you can see here We have four games played if we win We go second That just shows us how good shows you how good we've been through the first Four games Ross County have one point in their first four games. So big game here Now win here we go second now. I don't think the first five games we should really see say Five games, we're second, that's where we should be aiming. No, it's a long season. But I think if we could get a win here and show that we can actually be a good team, then I think we might have found our new formation. And it was obvious that it was the formation that was the problem last season when we would, you know, inevitably leave in three or four, maybe even five goals against Rangers. Cameron strike. That's a really good one too. Good save from the goalkeeper. Probably saw it late there, but we've got off to a good start with a, a strike early. But in from high that time, Urain comes back to me, and that's a really good save from the goalkeeper. To be fair. And high is gonna deliver it this in. Probably in the right exactly the same location. Indeed he did, does. But this time it goes to Cameron, and the keeper can claim after the, the defender won the initial battle. Mengi did everything right there, but it broke to 
a Ross County player and a Lavson was able to save him. So it was going to be difficult to score from there, to be fair. And uh, they didn't. So good play there from my Lavson, keeping his front post protected. There's another strike and another good save from a Lavson. Ross County got into a little bit of a, bit of a run of pressure here after we got off to a decent start. An early ball in, and it's an excellent one, and Rain almost got onto the end of it. Early cross from Mulligan is actually really good, and the defender does just enough to, to put your rain off. Oh, he's just waltzed through us there. That was just bad defending out of me. But Ross County take the lead. Been a good game to be fair, and it's not like Ross County hasn't put us uh, put us under some pressure. So they deserve this lead. Um, but we we deserve to get a goal here too. So it's not like this has just been a all out Ross County. So we'll we'll see how we get on and see if we can get something back. Wonderful, lovely, lovely football. And Urain gets his second in two games. A 1-2 with Noah Palace, who's been superb since taking over from Jack McKenzie after he decided that he was going to go to West Brom. Noah Palace has been absolutely up and down that left-hand side. Great ball back into uh, Urain after he held it up for him. And the finish is excellent. It's one all. We're back on level terms. And Urain seems to be back on form again. What a great play there from High. Battling and battling. Cameron. Lovely ball to Mulligan. Gets the ball back. Dennis strikes. Another good save from the goalkeeper. Saw it late again. Very similar to the strike that Dennis had earlier. He's done an excellent job here to be a threat again and beside your rain. And here's the corner, something we're really good at. Ball goes in. Dennis is off, but can't direct it goalwards. He's not close enough, but we've been really good. When we in this formation, it's been really good for us. Strike goal. And Ross County have gone two. And a really good well worked goal. But again, I think we're we're gonna get back. We've been good enough to, to get another goal. What a terrible pass there from Mengi. Quite sure who he's trying to reach there, but didn't reach his intended target anyway. That's another penalty. Unbelievable. Three and five. And uh, is that the second one from Catrumbus? No, that's on his first. But that's a definite penalty. There's nothing I can really say about it. It's a definite penalty. Can Alavison be the hero again? Yes, he can. Two penalties denied by Alavison this year. And we just can't get out of our own, our own way at the moment. Palace. And there's a good save from Alavison. That was cleared away. Very dangerous clearance, but we got it away. But that's all the time is, and realistically, that was a game we should have won, or at least got something out of, but Ross County in the end do win the game. It's always these games. The games against the teams that didn't get off to a good start, teams that are bottom of the table with a point, or teams that have got off to questionable starts. It's always these teams that give you the trouble, but... Uh, Nonetheless, three game, five games, three wins, two losses. Certainly not been a bad run of results, but I do think we can do better. We need to go on a run. I think we can do that in the next episode. And with that, we have the final day of the transfer window. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, if we're going to do anything. But we'll see how things go to see if any offers come in we'll see how we get on we'll see what we do
plenty of uh, of time here to do something on the final day. Josh Mulligan was offered a contract by Atticas. Had a spore. Not going to happen. Um, not to say that I wouldn't sell Mulligan, just not to a club like that. If it's a go, if I'm going to get rid of first team players, it's going to be to, to big clubs. And I think we're going to go through deadline day here without any more acquisitions. I think we've done our job. We brought in the players. We have new strikers that I like. Dennis has done well. Okay, I'm so lucky that that came in so late. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to negotiate it just cuz we're being realistic here, but there's only 1 hour in the transfer window. It's not happening. Um but hey, give me like 10 mil. <laughs> uh, give me 10 million, I'll agree. Um I'll I'll let you take him for 10. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, but there's only one hour left in the transfer window. This is a little bit different than the Uran one, who realistically should have left for FC Utrecht. I didn't think I made that much of a massive difference uh, between his market value and what they what they uh, and what they had offered and what I asked them to to go for, but they thought it was too much. But thank the Lord that, that was the last like an hour before the uh the the deadline went up because if that came in at the start of the day there would have been a lot of um, <laughs> movement around to try and fix that so but nonetheless that will end the transfer window we won't see it again until january um and that's of course all we have time for we will face st johnson of course a team at the bottom of the table again away from home in the next game Probably going to lose that one too, even though we've got off to a pretty decent start. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. There's, of course, more EFC. There's more um, uh, more content on the way. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace out, guys. Have a wonderful day.